person's back and three people are one inch from the line, who do you hit to? Mm -hmm. The one person back, and you put it to the left foot, if it's this person, to, to their left foot, six inches by the heel. If it's this person and they're a right-hander, don't put it here, don't go for the angle, because this is about keeping the ball in play. It's not about trying to hit a winner, because this is like going for a winner when you're going at this angle for somebody's left foot if they're a right-hander. So if they're on this side, Unless you can place it nine out of ten times, don't go for it because you're going to make more mistakes than it's worth. Um, so places to be on the court. Back here is where you really should stand. This is the baseline. Why are you standing two to three feet back? And if you're six foot five, you're standing four feet back. And if you're six seven, like that guy that came out there today, he should be at least four or five feet back, which he couldn't today, of course, because we have that glass wall, and he'd be hitting his head just like we almost do. It's not good. So why would you want to stand back behind this line on the serve and on the return? Easier to move forward than back. Right, easier to move forward. Because in every shot in this game, you should be on your toes. The weight should be on your toes. Nothing should be transferred to the middle or the back. You shouldn't be transferring that weight because you end up hitting up on a ball when you do that. The biggest reason is, is they say one out of four or five shots, people actually skid it on the line or hit it just, just before. And I played with some people today that after they serve, they step in and then they get jammed. After they return, they step in and they get jammed. I mean, you don't want to step in until you know exactly where that ball is going to land. Yes, what I do on a normal court, not the court we played on, is I kind of rock forward. I kind of have a timing so that I can push off this foot to go forward if somebody shorts me. And a short basically is going to happen on a miss hit, where I saw a couple miss hits today that shorted. And because that was a rubber surface, it just kind of stayed down. How many yeah. people missed the ball because yeah. the ball was short? Yeah. They did it to you twice, right, today? <laughs> She's laughing because, yeah, she didn't read the miss. It's hard to read a miss hit. Because what's the best shot in pickleball? A miss hit. If that miss hit goes in, it's the best shot, right? Because even they didn't know where it was going, right? I had no idea where it was going there. So I can't, I can't read a miss hit, something that hits the paddle in the wrong spot. So stay back on your serve. Stay back on your return. Especially if I serve and that return comes back, I've got to let that bounce. So last thing I want to do is move up a foot or two feet because now it's behind my shoulder and there's nothing I can do. I cannot hit it because it's a fault because that ball has to go one, two, and then the point begins, okay? So I remember when I came over from 42 years of tennis, I used to be a serving volleyer. So I'd serve and I'd run up. So I used to serve and I'd run up and I'd hit the ball in the air and for four months, that's how, duh, that's how dumb I was. Four months I did it, I'm not kidding. They called me, ball in the air, ball in the air. You're all doing great, I don't see that. But I'm serious, I did some things that I was so stubborn, like I wouldn't hit a softball. Nothing soft, everything was hard. And what's that gonna get you? Three to five hits if you're lucky, maybe one to three hits over the net. And this game is not about winning the point. This game is about placement, placing every ball you hit, preferably here, this is why I do this, eight to 12 inches over from the center line. If you have a right-hander on this side, left-hander here, where is that going every time? Low to my backhand. You want to pick on any, we'll, do, we'll ask again, anybody here have a better backhand and it has to be much better than your forehand, anybody? Usually not, see, nobody here, not one person. So where do you want to hit this ball if you want to win in pickleball? Low to the backhand. Not just to the backhand, because any shot up here, don't be proud. If you get a point up here, don't be proud of it, because anybody can bang back and forth. If, once you start putting it to the toes, I'll ask you, when we put the ball to your toes, was that easy? Yeah, it's <laughs> beginning. The most difficult. Most difficult. Oh. So I just gave you the answer on how to be. This guy is amazing. Uh, I'll give it that. He's an amazing hitter. He has eye coordination. Fantastic. But you've got to play him down at the feet. You can't feed this guy here because he's number one out of everybody in the air, right? He's been, did you hear? He's number one in the air. He's the best player in the air. Yeah. yeah. But once you slow the ball down to his toes, you take away his game. And that's the only way you're going to beat this guy. Yeah. I'm serious. If he has a good partner, you're not going to beat him up here. I don't know many people that are going to beat him and another good person that can hit the ball hard. But after the age of 50, I don't want to do any more work. I like retirement. I want it down here making them put it here so I can place the ball instead of try to win with power. I wish I had six months with you because you're so good now, but if I can get you to put every ball to the toes, 
you'd be great. And work your backhand. So tell him, tell him he needs work on the backhand just a little bit. A little, he's very good, but I'd be working his backhand. Yes. Yeah. Load to the backhand. Yeah. Because you'd love your forehand, right? You'd ask him if he loves his forehand. You love your forehand, right? Right. Which means you never see another forehand from me again. <laughs> in this game, I know it's about love, and it's love is pickleball. But when it comes to competition, I don't want to give a shot that you're good at. Ever. I want to put every ball where you're uncomfortable. So he'll understand. But that's what you want to do if you want to win in this game. Now, I'm, of course, I'm talking tournament play. 